and weeks this of the HMO conversion project. Let's see where we're up to and how fast we can get this turned around. Let's get it. So um, week six, we are almost there. The clients are pressing us as well to get it finished and rented. All the carpet's down, doors are done. All it needs really is furnishing and little finishing touches. Makes a massive difference when the carpet's down as well. So just gone to something basic, which fits in with the colour scheme. Laminate floor in the high traffic areas, and then nice carpet for the bedrooms, just to make it a bit more homely. So we've done all the carpet. All the electrics, all the lighting's done. Doors are quite nice, come out quite nice. I need to get like white furniture, so it's a nice contrast and some blinds there as well. The kitchen. Again, it's all matching. We've forgotten to do the door, so that door needs changing, so that'll be done. Put a stool here, space for the fridge there, like when we originally planned the kitchen. Uh, washing machine's in, that's from another property, but we've saved some money there. Um, gas, cooker. We tend to find the international students prefer to cook on gas because it's a bit better than electric. That's why I say cooking with gas. So um, we put that in instead of electric, which you don't find in many apartments and stuff now. So just a little um, thing, because when we get international students, if they see a cooker and it's electric, sometimes you go and look at other properties. So it's just better to have this in. Plus we have the connection, electric oven. And yeah, that's the communal kitchen. As you can see, all the fire doors are done as well. Intermittent strips, fire and smoke seals, little bed door closers, essential in any HMO. Coming up. Check out the mirror. So, we've got a bathroom, um, all done, vinyl on the floor. She smells really nice, like fresh carpet and paint. Coming into this room, the other bedroom, um, as I said, it looks completely different. Um, sink there, we, we didn't decide to take that up in the end, we just changed it. Uh, there's no point not putting a sink when there was only one there. I know it doesn't look the best, but it's something extra for the tenant. This is the main bedroom. That's a bit annoying with the carpet fitters have left everything here, so we'll get on to, to remove that because it's not really our job. We could have at least put it outside. Um, the new company I'm using, so they don't know how it works, so we'll be on to them. Two blinds down there. We've all got locks as well, so um, we've all got privacy, just in case they don't know each other. We don't get a group. And then going up to the apartment. Bathroom, just waiting for the plinth to go on there. Um, the vinyl's gone underneath it so it doesn't leak. And um, just an extra layer. Yeah, nice bathroom. Um, and this is the kitchen for the apartment. We've just got to finish off a bit of the splash back here or tiling, whichever comes first. Um, but yeah, it's all in. it looks quite nice. We match a scheme downstairs as well, so it just makes it look better if the client ever wants to sell at least it's one product. And you can tell there's been a bit of thought and design behind it. And this is the attic bedroom. So it's actually worked out quite nice as a bedroom to live in the kitchen. It's quite a nice big space, quite cosy, just needs loads of light, light coming in from that as well. Literally spot blind there. It's a really nice window. Yeah, it would have been a shame to waste that in the kitchen, I think. Um, again, five door frames. Emergency lighting. So yeah guys, this is uh, week six. 
and week seven and eight will just be spent furnishing and all the fine touches get the tiling finished and get it we'll start viewing at this stage now we can start viewings and especially when the furniture comes in the next few days it'll be a lot easier and we could probably get it rented before every single thing is finished um so yeah we usually do viewings now anyway but just some tenants or prospective tenants can't visualize how the room is with the furniture so it's always better to try and get at least a bed in but yeah guys so week six and we hope you like it so far let us know in the comments if you've got any things we should add or change anything that you like uh, that you like that we've done like comment subscribe let's get it You know the shoes? Um, it's a fire. It's just a uh, fire exit. Uh, yeah, you got a fire shimmer. Yeah, but even so, you can't have it in the fire exit. Okay. Because right. um, if there's a fire, you need to be able to get out. Okay. It's just if we have a fire inspection. Okay. Nice. No, um, you can't have. If you're doing HBOs, you can't have anything blocking the fire exits. So each person put the shoes in the room. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, we can get inspected any time. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll get a fine. Okay. Uh, and also, it's just better if there's no one looking here for you. Yeah, well, so. let's all do that. Uh, but apart from that, thank you for keeping the house very clean and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's very nice. Oh, thank uh, you I've got the, the desk in the car. Set. Yeah, I've got okay. the desk, so I'm going to bring the desk in, but I can't assemble it today because I've forgotten the drill. Oh, okay. Sadly, it's got confiscated that, yeah. Oh. But you can get it from the airport. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back. Now,